Good morning, everyone. My name is Denise, and I will be sharing the St. George's good news with you today. Before I get started, I just thought I would let you know that I did change my mind on the reading that I had planned for today. With it being Easter week and a time for celebration, I felt today's uh, reading might be a little bit more appropriate. And in addition to that, I also noticed that the same passage was one of the options earlier this week on Monday. So that kind of resonated to me that perhaps a really good happy news message would be more appropriate for this morning. So, well, like every day, this is the day that the Lord has made. And today's good news reading comes from Psalm 118, verses 19 to 24. Open for me the gates of the righteous. I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous may enter. I will give you thanks for you answered me. You have become my salvation. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this and it is marvelous in our eyes. The Lord has done it this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. Thanks be to God. As you know, today is April the 5th, and here are some in interesting facts that I'd like to share with you about today. In 1614, the premiere of William Shakespeare's play, The Taming of the Shrew, was performed at the Globe Theatre in London. In 1887, the construction of the Eiffel Tower began in Paris, France. In 1926, F. Scott Fitzgerald Nault Fitzgerald's novel, The Great Gatsby, was first published. In 1955, British scientists produced the world's first synthetic diamond. In 1964, the Beatles held the top five positions in the Billboard Singles Chart in the United States. In 1974, the Swedish pop group ABBA won the Eurovision Song Contest with their hit song, Waterloo. In 1976, the Apple computer was formed by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. In 1997, the space probe Pathfinder landed on Mars and sent back the first color images of that planet. In 2010, the iPad, Apple's revolutionary tablet computer, was launched. And in 2016, the American singer-songwriter Bob Dylan was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature, becoming the very first musician to ever receive such an honor. Why am I mentioning all these historical events for you on April the 5th, you may be wondering? Well, it is because I hope we can all recognize that today is just one of 365 days in which we can choose to make a positive difference in our lives and in the lives of others. Each and every day, there are noteworthy events or experiences in the world, and each and every one of us can choose to make contributions to our own day, 365 times a year, to help us recognize and even celebrate that today and every day is a day that the Lord has made, and we can be glad and will rejoice in it. Hmm. Even after I wrote that last paragraph, I was thinking, yikes, that's kind of hard work, but it doesn't have to be, and it isn't always going to be hard. We just have to think that the key message here is not that every single day is going to be sunshine and roses, because as human beings, we know that that is just not the case. We might not be responsible for doing something that will go down in history either, but that's not really what's important either. Rather, we just need to understand and remember that each and every day that we have is a gift from God, and he is watching over us and guiding us through every moment of every day, and this should be cause for tremendous gratitude. A few weeks ago, I heard someone say, just by waking up this morning, we are already living our best life. For us as Christians, we know we can thank God for this. We can also be glad and rejoice in it. Now that is certainly good news and should be cause for us to pause every now and then and think about how God wants us to make a difference in our lives and in the lives of others. 
the attitude and perspective we choose to focus on every day can make or break our day and the days of others we encounter. After all, isn't it an amazing feeling when we hear someone say to us, thank you for saying that or for doing what you just did for me because you just made my day. How awesome is that feeling? And again, such good news. This reminds me of a beautiful story that I shared with an entire school of over 400 children some years ago. The story I'm referring to is called One Smile. It is a story of how a little girl chose to innocently share her nice little smile with a man in the park whom she noticed was looking really sad. By caring enough to share her little smile with this saddened gentleman, he was able to turn his day around and he felt so uplifted and inspired that he paid it forward with his own kindness that he bestowed on someone else. And then this created a domino effect, a domino effect of spreading kindness to many others. This story serves as a reminder that one act of kindness can make a world of difference to others. And isn't this just what God wants and hopes for all of us? Yes, this is the day that the Lord has made and we can choose to share our positive light. Not only then will others benefit, but we will too. That is definitely something we can be glad be glad of and rejoice in, rejoice in, which makes God smile upon us. Well, when reflecting on this message, I didn't want to sound all Pollyanna because I know there are often days and many times where we aren't feeling happy and positive as each new day arrives. And that can be very challenging for us. Sometimes we all need a little help figure, figuring out how to see the positives in a very challenging day. I discovered one commentator who had some great suggestions to help us through those days that we struggle with. Maybe you would like to consider some or all of these 10 suggestions that might serve as a reminder of the positive, grateful feelings in our lives so we can truly rejoice in this day that the Lord has made and be glad in it. Here are the suggestions. And I tried to provide some examples of what we could do with these examples. See what you think. I hope you like them. Number one, feel delight in the Lord. Spend time every day with God. No doubt you're already doing that. But take a moment and think how wonderful and peaceful that time with God makes you feel. Number two, focus on the positive and count your blessings. Start each day with gratitude, thanking God. Remember that day when Pat Brown talked to us about considering what our life would be like if we woke up in the morning and discovered we only had the things that we had expressed gratitude for? So seek the positives and you will find them. There is never, ever a day that you won't be able to find one thing to be thankful for. Get proper rest. Try meditating, practicing mindfulness, yoga, avoid caffeine at night, stay away from technology before bed, anything that helps you to get a good night's sleep. And that good night's sleep will help you have a better day in the morning. Do something else for someone else. No doubt, just as I said before, it'll make you feel better too. Listen to happy music. Listen to music that makes you happy. It's amazing how joyful we can become when we hear uplifting music. How many of us often find ourselves singing or dancing along when we hear music we really like? Get some exercise, any exercise at all. The joyfulness that you will experience may not happen right away. In fact, it may happen after the exercise is over, but it will help you to feel better. Make up your mind to be happy and enthusiastic. That's a tough one but it's doable. Every day we have a choice. Choose happiness and find something you are passionate about. Spend a few moments thinking about all the, your own good qualities. Number eight, take a break and do a little something for yourself every day. Find a hobby or something that you really enjoy. It can be as simple as reading a book, woodworking, playing a musical instrument, sewing, or going 
through some old family photos. The list is endless, and I know you'll have your own personal list to help you feel happy. Number nine, claim the promises of God. Spend time in nature or with an animal. Without a doubt, being outside for a walk, along the water, along a trail, or through the park is just so peaceful, and we can't help but feel grateful for where God chose for us to live. Pets are our family too. Mine's actually annoying right now. You can probably hear her. Enjoy time cuddling or walking with them. And number 10, this one is really special. Cast your burdens on the Lord. Share your worries and burdens with God. Then try hard to let them go and trust that God has a plan for you. Just think, if we all made the conscious decision to be truly thankful for our lives and to put forth an enthusiastic willingness to wake up every morning and imagine how we can create just one smile or do one act of kindness or one whatever it is that makes you feel better, then we can wholeheartedly say with confidence, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Before I end with prayer, I thought I would show you a little index card that I made to serve as a reminder to rejoice each day. If you're having trouble with those 10 ideas that I suggested earlier and they don't come to mind, which is the case for me, I put them down on an index card. I got the idea from Jane when she shared the little index reminder card she had created a while back. This might be something you want to do too. If you feel from time to time you need a little help or reminder in finding joy in your day, this is what mine looks like. Rejoice in the day. I have five of those suggestions on this side and the other five on the back. Now, let us pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, this truly is the day that you have made. Help us to never lose sight of your our gratitude for each and every day you give to us. We long to make you proud of us by trying to be like Jesus. May we strive to be like him every day. Help us to set our eyes and our hearts on you afresh. Renew our spirits and fill us with your peace and joy. We love you and we need you this day and every day. We also long to bring a smile to your face by our acts of love and kindness with our families, in our communities, and the world. Teach us to make decisions and actions with the best possible attitude and with sincere, grateful hearts. This we pray in the loving name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'd now like to end with a suggestion for you to click on the link that it's on the uh, YouTube, hopefully on the YouTube link this morning. It's a very nice upbeat rendition of that very familiar song, This is the Day that the Lord Has Made. There's lots of them on YouTube, but I picked a really nice one and I hope you will enjoy it. If you have time, please stick around and enjoy. It's only less than four minutes long and hopefully it'll make you smile and maybe even get you up singing or dancing. I hope it will inspire you to rejoice and be glad in your day today and every day. Remember, if you are ever struggling to see the positives in your day, think of any of those 10 suggestions and hopefully this will help you to find joy in your day ahead. Our, lo our Lord will be so proud of you. Thanks for spending this time with me today. Looking forward to sharing this time with you again next month. Wishing you God's blessings today and always. Bye for now.